welcome to Top 5 Wednesday. Top 5. 5 Wednesday. Top 5 Wednesday was a Goodreads group that was created by Lainey over at Ginger Reads Lainey and is now moderated by Sam from Thoughts on Tomes. And I will link both of their channels and the Goodreads link down in the description. This week's topic is your current favorites that are not books. So my current favorite things to do besides reading is we're going to start with number five. Number five. Number five is going to be military movies. I love military movies. Black Hawk Down, um, gosh, Lone Survivor, Max, anything um, that has to do with the military, I am like all about it. And why I can't think of, we were soldiers when we were, we were soldiers, yeah, when we were soldiers. Um, but any type of military movie, I'm like ready to watch because I had, I have former service and my husband has former service. He's a retiree and so many of our friends are in the military. And yes, I do have to differentiate and separate real life military from fake fictional uh, military. But at the same time, the ones that hold true to the nature of military, I will watch that all day long and cry and tear and oh, just love, 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 because that's showing that they, that Hollywood sort of is given off a little piece of love and honor and pride to our military service members. Um, and yeah, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Number four, number four is going to be dance movies. Dance movies, give me a good dance movie and I am all about it. Yeah, yeah. Um, step up, any of the step ups, all about it. Channing Tatum, love, love, love. Channing Tatum, he can dance his little ass off. Um, Magic Mike, XL, uh, Magic, or Mike XL, yeah, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Black Swan, um, Center Stage, either one of those, Footloose, both of those, um, Grease, yeah. So, I mean, Grease sort of falls into the whole musical thing, but at the same time, there's lots of dancing that goes along with that one. Hairspray, <sighs> so many, so many, so many good dance movies out there love them love them all we'll watch them we'll suffer through if they're horrible at the dialogue and don't really have a plot story but i will watch them because they're dancing um number three number three is gonna be baking um and i have liked to bake since i don't know when i was wee big <laughs> but um it's just always been a thing for me i at one point wanted to be a cook but or a chef get fancy with the name um but then i was like eh, i don't like to eat everything so i could never really do the whole being a chef or cooking thing but baking on the other hand i would love to go and like do some courses and learn how to bake more proficiently lately i have been into doing truffly like cake ball sort of mix mesh thing um i'll add some pictures of some of the creations that i have made lately um in the last say two years or so so yeah i love to bake love to bake yeah number two number two is going to be singing and music i love music i think music and movies go together um especially when a soundtrack makes the movie so Last, a couple weeks ago, we did a Top 5 Wednesday that dealt with polarizing books and things like that. And a lot of people put the book Me Before You on there um, by Jojo Moyes. And I, I thought the book was okay. I listened to it on audiobook. So I got all the different characters and different narr from voices of different narrators. So I, I was kind of emotionally connected with that. But when I saw that movie and that soundtrack for the movie it put me over the top I think I was done for the day I was crying all over the place and just recently I watched the new remake of Beaches on Lifetime 
Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That movie was amazing. I was done. I was like, what made me think that I could watch Beaches on a Saturday and think that I would be functional? <laughs> yeah, not even. And then my number one favorite thing to do besides reading is to watch TGIT. If you don't know what TGIT is, it's an American thing, um, but it stands for, thank God it's Thursday, and it deals with television shows of Grey's Anatomy, Scandal, and How to Get Away with Murder. Oh my God, my household stops on Thursdays when those shows are back in rotation. <sighs> Love it. Love it, love it, love it. I have been with Grey's Anatomy and gotten other people hooked on watching Grey's Anatomy since the beginning. It's just so gripping. I love it. I love it. I love it. I relate to Dr. Bailey and all her struggles that she goes through and just she's my character. I love her. Love her. Love her. And then Scandal. Woo! Oh my goodness. Scandal's off the chain. All kinds of crazy. Live and fits forever yes and then how to get away with murder Psh. Annalise Keating is the bomb is the bomb she's off the chain if I could be a lawyer I would be one of be her kind of lawyer oh my goodness except for right now so I won't go into that because if you haven't caught up and you're not caught up to it you won't you don't know what's going on with the series I won't let you know but it's just off the chain right now on the chain so Thank you for watching my top five things that I do besides reading, which I do a lot of. Um, let me know in the comments if you do enjoy any of my top five things and what you enjoy in your, you know, top five things. Link your channels down below if you want me to check out yours. Um, and thank you for watching again and we'll see you guys later. Bye.